Why, why, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. healthy food. My little toes are crossed that she sees me and treats me. So I'm going to show her my best behavior so I get a treat. She has a bag of something and it looks like she's going to throw something. Let me see what it is. Oh, you It is a whole grain chip, not the junk food type that destroys my body. This nutritious food will help my brain think better and I'll be full of energy to roam around the park and keep my body healthy. Thank you, thank you, teacher, so much for remembering I need healthy foods just like the boys and girls. I love you, teacher. Today, the teacher taught us about flossing our teeth so that we can keep our teeth and our gums real healthy. But I, I forgot how to do it. Oh, oh, there's mom. Maybe, maybe she can help me. She's always so smart. She knows almost everything. Mom, mom, can you please help me by showing me how to floss my teeth? Oh. Oh, thank you for asking, son. What you do, dear, is pull it through your teeth, like left to right, left to right, getting all the food out between your teeth. 
Now stop fooling around, honey. <laughs> With this is serious business to keep our teeth clean. <laughs> the teacher at school today told us about bullies. She said bullies have low self-esteem, and that is why they bully other people, so they can feel better about themselves. A bully may be struggling in school or angry at someone. The teacher also said the bully might not even know he or she is a bully when they call another person stupid or ugly. She said if you can ignore the bully, he or she usually will stop. Hi boys and girls. I'd like to tell you about my mother who teaches my brothers and sisters and me life skills each day. Every day, mom has us follow her in a straight line into the lake to practice swimming. If we want to become good swimmers, we must practice each day. Just like you boys and girls practice things like reading and math. Quack, quack. Mom also teaches us how to groom ourselves and other important life skills. Baby animals. Boys and girls, please read with me. Baby ground squirrels live under the ground. These baby ground squirrels feel protected sitting inside the hole in the ground. Look at this adorable baby giraffe. It is around two or three months old. A baby rhino nurses for almost a year and gains three or five pounds each day. The baby rhino is almost as big as its mother. A young cow is called a calf. Here is a mother wallaby. Inside her pouch is a baby. A baby wallaby is called a joey. a baby alligator is sleeping on the rocks. This baby alligator is awake in the water. The black baby lamb is learning how to walk. Here it is with mother and a sister or brother. Baby pigs are called piglets. These cute piglets enjoy being together. Baby ducks are called ducklings. Mother duck takes her ducklings swimming in the lake and teaches them life lessons. Nigerian goat twins. Bah! Bah! On a farm, you might be lucky to see twin goats. Animals born at one birth are called twins. Twins look alike and usually act alike. Do you notice the twins' ears are touching each other? Also, the twins are chewing at the same time. Donkey, hee-haw, hee-haw. Dog, woof, woof. Hen, cluck, cluck. Chicks, chirp, chirp. Cat, moo, moo. Horse, neigh, neigh. Rooster, cock-a-doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo. 
she. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Rabbit. Thump, thumpity, thump. Thump, thumpity, thump. Turkey. Gobble, gobble. Pig. Oink, oink. Teaching tips. First, Chow listens and watches the whole video. Second, Chow practices reading out loud with me. Go through the video twice. Third, Chow turns off the volume and reads and makes animal sounds by him or herself. Buster's eight years old and he loves to meet people. Ah. He loves to be everybody's buddy. <laughs> I've seen this guy in the uh, movies. Oh yeah, you've seen him in the, in the Target ads. You've oh, that's him, what it is. You've the seen him with Spud McKenzie. Oh, okay. The, the original the, Incredible Journey. Yep. Yes, I've seen, seen him, him in a lot of videos. Seen him on Pat, movies. And the little kids might know him as Frank and Weenie. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's a very famous he dog. And look at that now. Yes, this is a celebrity now dog. He's happy. Yes, I see his ears are up. Well, thank you. And the boys and girls want to say they love you too. Oh, that's good. Buster loves you guys. Boys and girls, please read out loud with me. English Bull Terrier. The dog's coat is usually short and white. This dog is well known for having a tapering muzzle. Ah, and he's got the drool. Look at that drool. St. Bernard. St. Bernard. St. Bernard. How old is he? He's six. He's six years old. His name is Winston. Well, Winston, the boys and girls will be seeing you and they're going to want somebody like you. St. Bernard. A very large dog kept in the Alps to rescue travelers. She is licensed as a Parkinson's walking dog. She's also known as a balance mobility and wheelchair assistant. She can open those doors and help people walk and if they fall, help them stand up. What kind of dog is this? They're great both Great Danes. They're Great Danes, and how old are they? She just turned four years old. Four years old? She's only 11 months old. 11 months? Is this uh, a baby too? She is a puppy. So she's puppy too, is this mom? Oh, she just her older sister. Oh, an older sister. And they're service dogs, boys and girls. They get to go to the hospital, to the grocery store. Great day. This dog is one of the world's tallest breeds. This is an Irish wolfhound? And how big is he? 130 pounds. 130? Wow, he's showing off all right. Irish Wolfhound, the largest and tallest hound used to hunt wolves in Ireland. It's the terrier. Oh, there you go. This is a big boy. His mommy's here, so he should be watching her. We have to be a little careful of this one. Airedale Terrier. They were bred in England and used as a police dog and a wartime guard in World War II. Star. Star! Hi Star! Say hi to the boys and girls! Oh, there you go! Star! And how old is Star? Me? Star is almost nine. nine. Star is almost nine years old! Look at that cute face! And it must be a girl, right? It's a girl. And so this is a Scottish Terrier, boys and girls. Scottish Terrier the 32nd President of the United States 
Franklin D. Roosevelt's dog is a statue in Washington, D.C. The boys and girls, what kind of dog this is? Okay, this is a standard schnauzer. Standard schnauzer, and how old is this? She's 18 months old. Ah, ah, oh. This is a puppy. Oh, this is a puppy. Yeah, they're very um, energetic. Ah, ah. Oh, wow, <laughs> this one sure is. Yeah, and they're very smart dogs. Ah, ah. They were used ah. in ah. Germany on the, ah. as a farm dog and a guard dog. Standard schnauzer. They usually have a pepper and salt colored coat and a long beard and eyebrows. Teaching tip. Children love dogs, so teachers and parents use what they love to motivate children to write. Start with a topic sentence. My favorite dog is a blank. Then write facts about the dog's physical features, what it eats, etc. Finish the paragraph with a wrap-up sentence. These are facts about why blank is my favorite dog. At the end of the writing lesson, draw a picture of your favorite dog and color it just as you described it. Boys and girls, which collie is mine? My favorite dog is my collie Champ. Champ has long white fur with patches of brown and a long tan muzzle. He eats roasted lamb dry dog food. Champ can be seen on my educational children videos. He makes learning fun and exciting for boys and girls. Now you know some amazing facts about my favorite dog. Good luck. Days of the week. Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. days of the week. Boys and girls, I want you to sing with me and clap three times after each day. Here we go. Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Friday, Saturday, Days of the Week. Yay! Months of the Year. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, November and December. Months of the year. Boys and girls, I want you to sing with me and clap three times after each month. January. February. May, June, July, 
August, September, October, November, and December. Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day. That was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play. To see a lamb at school. And so the teacher turned it out, but still it lingered near and waited patiently about till Mary did appear. Why does the lamb love Mary so? the eager children cry. Why, Mary loves the lamb, you know, the teacher did reply. can see trees everywhere. Many of the trees' leaves are turning different colors. At a harvest festival, I saw these leaves, and these are real leaves, boys and girls, but they're dipped in gold, silver, and copper to make earrings or maybe a necklace. And these are maple, and here I am wearing a maple earring. There's the maple leaves in the background. 
In autumn, leaves are falling off the trees and drying up. Leaves. Say it with me. Leaves. Leaves, leaves, leaves everywhere and all dried up. Here is one green leaf. Say leaf. Again, leaf. Leaf means one. And this one leaf is going to be all dried up like these other leaves. Autumn can bring strong winds. And here you see the wind blowing this one leaf. Wind. Say it. Wind. Say it again. Wind. Can you hear the wind, boys and girls? September is an autumn month. September. Say it. September. Yes. September is when boys and girls go back to school again. Another autumn word, boys and girls, is school. Say it. School. Say it like you mean it, boys and girls. School. 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 Yay! During autumn, you can start to see clouds in the sky. Say it. Clouds. When you see clouds, what does that mean, boys and girls? Yes, rain. Rain is coming. Say it. Rain. Say it again. Rain. Hello, boys and girls. I'm the fire breathing dragon, but I won't be breathing fire today because I'll barbecue your teacher. You know what I think? I am getting smarter. Uh -huh. Boys and girls, there are two big holidays during autumn. One is Halloween. Say it. Halloween. During Halloween, boys and girls and cute little animals like dogs love to dress up. At night, you might even find a spider. Say it, spider. I know you like that word. Say it again, especially the boys. Spider. A spider spinning its web. Say web. Web. Say it again, web. Here this spider is spinning an awesome web. You see this? It says, please look, do not touch. So when you see things like that, you have to follow the rules. But enjoy the sight. What a sight. Pumpkins are everywhere in October and November. Say it. Pumpkins. Again, pumpkins. Now say the month October. Say it. October. Now say November. 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 The other holiday in autumn is Thanksgiving. Say it. Thanksgiving. And here is the turkey. Say it. Turkey. <laughs> Another name for autumn is fall. Say it boys and girls. Fall. Again, fall. The days become shorter. Therefore, the nights come sooner and the weather is cool. Say goodbye, Mr. Dragon. Bye. I have a song to teach you today and it's called Never Take Drugs. And I have a special guest who's gonna be 